ambitiously pursuing rivals such as the Mercedes-Benz S-Class and the BMW 7 Series, the Genesis G90 sets out to provide similar space, comfort, and luxury but at a price that's more attainable. It's an intriguing formula, so much so that we've decided to experience it for ourselves, we've ordered a G90 of our own for one of our 40,000 mile long-term tests. The G90 has comfort first driving dynamics that won't raise the pulse of serious drivers, but it provides a plush ride, long journeys are rejuvenating rather than tedious. Even the G90's least expensive model, it's hard to call it base is fitted with handsome materials and provides a comprehensive list of equipment that some other brands offer as optional extras. The well-appointed but restrained interior complements exterior styling that is handsome and upscale but avoids overtly flashy details. The harmonious G90 is a low-key luxury sedan that's high on value. What's new for 2018? The Genesis brand turns to this year, and, to celebrate, a handful of new features have been added to its flagship G90 sedan. Full LED adaptive headlamps that swivel with steering inputs are now standard across the range, as is a CD-slash-DVD player located inside the G90's glove box. The top-spec ultimate trim, available only with the 5.0-liter V8 engine, now features a rear-seat entertainment system with two 10.3-inch high-definition displays mounted on the back of each of the front-seat backrests. What was new for 2017? As an all-new model for 2017, the G90 is truly Genesis's, well, Book of Genesis. It officially launched Hyundai's luxury brand as a standalone entity, along with the mid-size G80 sedan and, soon, the compact G70 sedan. Trims and Options We Choose Of the two engines that Genesis offers in the G90, we prefer the twin-turbocharged 3.3-liter V6. Compared with the optional 5.0-liter V8, it's nearly as powerful, provides virtually the same performance, and is more fuel-efficient. Picking the 3.3T Premium, as Genesis calls its entry G90 trim, and the rear-wheel drive layout costs $69,325 and pampers with luxury features such as Heated and ventilated front seats 12.3-inch touchscreen display with navigation 3-zone automatic climate control Adaptive cruise control and lane keeping assist all-wheel drive adds $2,500 to the bottom line, and even so equipped the G90 manages to undermine most rivals on price by thousands while providing nearly equivalent levels of luxury. Selecting between the G90's two engine choices is like looking at a wine list, the newer, fully modern twin-turbocharged V6 is the less expensive option, while the finely aged and naturally aspirated V8 costs extra. Neither engine provides blistering acceleration, but both are so quiet and refined that you won't mind. What's new for 2018? Neither of the G90's engines have been revised for 2018, and the same goes for its automatic transmission and drivetrain components. Acceleration performance should be similar to the 2017 model tested below. 2017 Genesis G90 the base turbocharged 3.3-liter V6 setup with 365 horsepower is an overachiever, matching the acceleration of the 420 horsepower 5.0-liter V8 from 0 to 60 miles per hour in our testing. Both power trims pair with a responsive 8-speed automatic transmission and offer either rear or all-wheel drive. We don't see any reason to pay extra for the less efficient V8, unless you prefer it's more relaxed old-school character and distinctive sound. 